thought I'd kick this video off today with a little story. My dad, who lives in Cleveland, has a big box of quarter inch analog tape. And for the sake of nostalgia, he wanted to buy a working reel-to-reel -reel player so you could listen back to it all and also maybe even digitize some of that old tape. And so my dad began to look for a reel-to-reel -reel player in really good condition. And it's actually harder than it sounds. If you find one in working condition, it can go for a pretty penny. But finally, he and my mom were in Amish country at a flea market and he found one. Really good price, still in the box. Spooled some old tape in it, got it working again. Uh, and then when I went home for Christmas, Christmas 2019, we tested it out. We listened to a bunch of old tapes that he had. So he said, boy, there's nothing like Ohio. And actually even recorded some of our own stuff on new quarter inch tape he still had in the box. If you were one of the three kings, which 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 gift for baby Jesus, Jesus would you choose? Gold, frankincense, or myrrh? Don't and don't frankincense yourself and drive. No, you know. You have to be careful not to bring the strong stuff. On the actual box that the reel-to-reel -reel came in, my mom noticed the address, the manufacturer's address. She texted me a photo of it, and I looked at it, and this is on my street where I live in LA. It turns out it's literally right down the street from where I live. This is it right here. Now called California Cryobank. This used to be an old electronics company. Upon further investigation, it appears that California Cryogenics is a sperm bank. So I just wanted to add that in. That must be where they store all the uh, dry ice or whatever they use, I don't know. You're supposed to just like take these things and put them in the shade for a second. And then we'll watch this bad boy develop here. Looks pretty good. So the reason I told that story was because in this video today, I wanted to talk about another piece of vintage gear, which is this vintage Polaroid 600 camera. by a company in Milwaukee, Wisconsin called Retrospect. The entire camera is all refurbished. They took it apart, put it back together again. Obviously it looks new. They had an artist do sort of a, a really interesting take on this camera. Uh, and his style is sort of head shop, punk rock, sort of psychedelic, which I thought was a super cool, appealing camera. This art on here looks amazing. It even came with some extra stickers and stuff so you could kind of um, give it your own style, which I thought was super cool. The reason I got this camera is because I've, I have been shooting for years on the Polaroid Spectra 2 camera, which I own, looks like this. And the photos on those look great. They're a little bit more professional. And I took that camera everywhere. I took it around to Alaska and traveled with it a bunch. Uh, and at the time, a few years ago, you could buy that film from a company called The Impossible Project. But now they, they stopped making that film for the Polaroid Spectra cameras. But that's what led me to purchase this Polaroid 600 camera because Impossible Project is now called Polaroid Originals and they aren't making the Polaroid Spectra film but they are making Polaroid 600 film. So I wanted to get my hands on a new or well, refurbished Polaroid 600 camera which is this bad boy right here. But here we go. Let's go take some photos. Look at this super cool Land Rover truck. I've never seen one like that. Man, awesome. Late 60s, early 70s BW Plus. Got the little pop-up top on there. Looks awesome. So I've been riding around trying to find a cool spot and I made it all the way to the top of this Bed Bath & Beyond parking structure. Let's see if you can check out this view right here. Another worthless bit of trivia about a building in this area is this office building right behind me here. Van Halen frontman David Lee Roth has a, an office in this building right here. 
he has like a skincare company or something. It's based in that building. So, now you know that too. I've been running around this one wheel all day and it's got a 10 mile range and I'm just about at 10 miles. And I have like 10% battery left. And there it goes. I'm here by the metro line and I'm gonna try to get a Polaroid of this metro car. I'm gonna take the rest of this colored roll today and then maybe put in a black and white roll and we'll see how well this Polaroid can capture movement. Thought it would be a cool test. Oh, signal, Juni. I think that man complimented my one wheel. God bless that man. And also while I'm waiting here, I'm gonna take a picture of this fumigation sign. Might be having a twofer here. I think there's a second one coming the other way. We can get out of here now. It is a hot day here in LA. We're in the middle of a heat wave. One of the things I love about taking Polaroids is the fact that there's only eight photos per cartridge here. And these cartridges for these cameras now are not super cheap. So you're spending a little bit of money on these pictures. So every time you take one, you kind of want to think a little bit about it before you take it. And with, the, with these Polaroid 600 cameras, they're so basic. There's really nothing else to think about when you go to take a picture. I mean, there's literally, the only features on this camera are a flash if you need it, or a little, this little um, exposure dial here, which basically is, it gives you a little bit more light or a little bit less light, and you can't control how much. So that's literally it. You're literally just thinking about the picture. Uh, is there enough light in the environment? And then take the picture and hopefully it turns out really well. One of the coolest part of the parts about having a Polaroid is being able to take some cool um, portrait photos of your friends and your family and stuff. So that's actually something I'm looking forward to. All right, so flash forward into the future. I've owned this camera now for a few weeks. Been running around, taking some cool photos with it. Here are some of the photos. Every picture is not gonna turn out perfectly. So like I said before, it's all about thinking about taking the picture, having a good environment. They don't all come out perfectly, but that's part of the adventure with these things. Also wanted to plant this idea, since we're taking so many Polaroids, a cool idea, something to get, is this Polaroid photo album. Nice material, all black. I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of got a nice little port Polaroid outline on the front. It's made by Polaroid Originals. They have a small one and a large one. This is the large one. And I like it. You can kind of open it up. You can kind of flip through all your pictures. And it's really nice. Anyway, thought it'd be fun to share that with you. Cool little Polaroid album. Thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, get out there and take some photos. I think that uh, my photos turned out pretty good. I don't think the, uh, the Guggenheim is going to be calling anytime soon. But, you know... That's highfalutin stuff anyway. I don't know if I could even be part of the Guggenheim. Who wants to be part of the Guggenheim? But, you know, if they called, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say no. I wouldn't hang up on them. But then again, you know, I don't, once you enter into that kind of fine art world, it's sort of just like another world. I like kind of just being just sort of like a nobody guy. You know, it's low pressure, which I like. I like to surprise people. 
people crack that album open, they're thinking, you know, who is this guy? What, what kind of pictures is he taking? I like this. I, I want to see more of this. So anyway, all right. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.